Montreal is home of bagels. St. Vieter Bagel, corner St. Vieter and Park Avenue. It's a family-run bakery. It's a local bakery. It's a big, small business. My dad, my brothers, we run the show. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Each bagel is hand-rolled, boiled in honey water, and cooked in our wood-burning ovens. We make roughly, in a 24-hour period at this location, a thousand dozen. The Meyer Land, uh, I mean, it's an immigrant neighborhood, and it's grown. Well, now they're saying the Meyer Land is one of the hottest neighborhoods in North America. We've been here 60 years, and uh, it, it, it's changing, but the bagels stay the same. My name is Jennifer Glasgow. I'm the owner-operator of General 54, which is a boutique situated uh, on Saint Laurent in the Myland. Back in 2003, I opened my first store, which was dedicated to the artisans and artists, designers, makers, musicians in the Myland. We decided that we would open a shop where they could expose themselves to other artisans and uh, hopefully make a living. The Myland is evolving, changing, like any neighborhood that gains a certain notoriety for being a center of artistic energy. Many more tourists, which is lovely because they support our shop, they understand what our shop is, they're looking for something different. My name is Danny Saint-Pierre, chef and owner of Petite Maison Restaurant. Petite Maison is a nice little French bistro with a thick Quebecer accent in the heart of the Myland. So it's a very diverse cosmopolitan neighborhood. Our shtick is uh, the poutine inversée. Poutine, or poutine as you guys call it, is fries, gravy and sauce. I've invented a process which we encrust with potatoes, fries and sauce. So this is our claim to fame. Okay, so this is the inverted poutine. The, the poutine is a pretty fun thing. It's, it's a croquette. So it's really a little ball that's ready to get fried. So let's fry those babies up. Poutines are singing right now. And then we finish them off in the oven because inside it's still frozen. So we take the poutine and then you can see it's all nice and molten in the, in the inside. But the best is to scap it in your mouth, like in one piece. That's it. You have a piece of Quebec in a plate. This type of bar cafe wasn't really that popular in Montreal in the early 2000s. And Kiva and I just had this idea of a vegetarian cafe and then we'd have some shows on the weekends. Kiva's a chef and I'm a musician, so we wanted to combine those two ideas and then we just started getting more and more popular and then all of a sudden we started having more and more shows and then it was like a seven day a week type place. When we started the hotel, I kind of thought it was just going to be filled with, with musicians. Because you were yeah. touring in bands and you would go to Europe and you would play these places that were like former yeah, squats sure. that had a place for the bands to play and a place for the bands to stay and good food when the band got there. And now it's actually more like the other way around where it's actual tourists who are coming to Montreal yep. or staying upstairs. You know, we got like a kind of an Airbnb feel but it's not an Airbnb. Oh, we're on Airbnb. 